Hey, welcome back. Um, I decided that from now on I'm going to try and squeeze in as much uh, into my videos as I possibly can. Uh, my girlfriend reminded me that uh, nowadays most people have uh, ADD. <laughs> so, and uh, you know, some of my videos are too long and I don't, I watch them myself and I don't expect, uh, you know, people are going to wait around for the end sometimes. So, um, yeah, today's uh, survival skill is uh, bow shooting. It's uh, a very good survival skill to have, and um, it allows you to take down prey from a, uh, a much greater distance. Um, because the closer you get to your prey, um, the most li more likely it is that they're going to be alerted to your presence and take off running through the woods, and you don't eat. So, <clears throat> also a good skill to have. Um, I don't know if I'll get it on video because it's uh, that take a long time, but is the ability to uh, make a bow um, in case you don't have one. So keep that in mind that that is a great skill to have. All right, so I brought it out here unstrung uh, because I just want to show you guys how to string it. Uh, I have one that we made a long time ago uh, that kind of designed just for this purpose. But uh, you can also do this with a shoestring if you really need to. And you put it on just like that on each end. Uh, just so you know, this is a, uh, a wooden recurve bow. It has a 62 pound bolt and is, well, it's as accurate as any bow. Um, I think that really depends on the person. Um, also, I have hit a few deer with this, so it works fairly well. Um, I'm missing one of these uh, little rubber nubbies. Oh, my target fell down. Uh, I'm missing one of these little rubber nubbies uh, on the other side, so it is a little bit louder than it normally is. But yeah, I'll show you. Uh, okay, you get a firm grip right here in the middle of the bow, and you place your foot in the middle of the string here. And you pull directly up and with your free hand you slide the string up into your notches now you want to be sure not to um, twist the bow at all because that could also uh, that could twist the um, the wood inside which would be really bad and then later on down the road your bow may fail on you because of that but you don't want it to happen Um, also, at the end of this video, well, towards the end, um, I noticed a white pine over there, and that also has some medicinal uses, so I, uh, I think I'll tell you guys a little bit of, about that. Also, in um, my video, the, uh, the fish trap number two, um, I find a, uh, a ghost flower out there in the woods, and I tell you about its medicinal purposes also. So that's... Uh, be a good educational video to uh, check out. Actually, I don't like that arrow. It weighs a little bit. Um, the weight is a little bit different than the other arrows, and uh, it, so it shoots a little bit different. Um, okay, so I brought five arrows with me. I'll shoot the uh, the one I don't like last. And, um, this is like the first time I've shot uh, all year. The last time I shot was um, last fall. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty. Uh, I think I'll aim for the white target in the center to start. And when uh, <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't, I've never really had uh, real lessons on bow shooting. I'm kind of self taught. Um, my girlfriend, <laughs> believe it or not, she's. Uh, She's an excellent shot and really good with the bow, so she also gave me a few pointers as well. But um, definitely uh, take your time, breathe, stay calm, and aim. That's, uh, that's pretty much all I can say. Because uh, you don't want to take uh, your shot too quickly, um, because that can mean the difference between eating and not eating that day. Oh, 
happens directly over the top of it. Maybe directly over the top of it, maybe two and a half inches above it. Try that again. Again. <laughs> if I aim a little bit lower. Oh, that shot <laughs> it shot straight through the handle um, on the top, like straight straight through it. So that should count as a hit. I mean, come on. No animal's going to have a hole in it that an arrow could pass through and not injure it. Okay, so that was our two shot. What else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, uh, yesterday, um, July 13th, was uh, uh, one year sober. Um, which, you know, I'm pretty proud of. And other people are as well. Oh, but uh, to be honest, I don't get all lovey dovey over it and uh, make a big deal out of it. You know, one year down. And uh, I don't think I'll have the problem. You know, the rest of my life, nah, I'll make it. I won't drink. I don't miss it at all. Also, uh, today's day number three no cigarettes. And, uh, I'm going a little crazy. <laughs> um, I have noticed that I have a lot more energy. Um, I woke up before 6 a.m. this morning, even though I was up till, like, 1 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, I just couldn't fall back to sleep. I woke up and I was just ready to go. Um, so that's why I ran out there and shot that footage out at the, uh, um, my fish trap. I feel a little bit guilty, uh, because my girlfriend, Nikki, Today's a day off, she wanted to sleep in. Uh, she's a nurse, you know, and she works very hard. So I felt I felt bad, but uh, she'll be okay. I love her. Alright, I'm going to try for that, that smaller blue target. It's like the size of, uh, you know, some kind of game bird, perhaps, or a rabbit. And uh, that should be a little more difficult to hit, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, nailed it. Looks like we're eating good tonight. Um, I should end it with that. Two hits. <laughs> no, not end it with a miss. Once again, straight through the handle. That's like unbelievable. I can't believe that. That's tough. Well, that counts as a hit too. But um, all right. So I kind of covered that. Let me set this up and uh, this is not gonna work. Um, bring this over here. Really, you don't want to set your bow in the dirt ever. Got to be something around here. Oh yeah, right there. And it's not going on. Okay, right here. Uh, back in the day, there used to be a lot of stump shooting that was done. So um, that's why there's all these little hooks in the trees and stuff because um, back then they used to, uh, you know, hang their bows up everywhere. But all right, we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this white pine. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a white pine. It looks a lot, I, I think there's one that looks really similar. I forget it, I forget the name. But I'm pretty sure this is a white pine. Okay, so the needles here, um, these are packed with um, vitamin C. And as most people know, uh, vitamin C is really good for you. 
Um, it's good, really, it's actually, it's really good for your immune system, giving your immune system a nice boost, uh, helping you fight infection and uh, fight off uh, nasty things that uh, get into your system. But uh, it's also good for your cartilage, uh, which is also, you know, very important. It's, um, now remember, your body doesn't create vitamin C, so it's good to find um, a source. Alright, hang on, take this, and just trying to wad it up. Um, it actually has a, it tastes very much, uh, it tastes just like a mango to be honest um, just without the sugar and you just want to chew on it and suck the juices out and then when you're done spit it out but if uh, if you do happen to have fire and uh, water in a pot you can also you can boil this and make a nice tea out of it and it's really not bad and you can just sit and Chew it like a piece of bubble gum. Maybe pack it in your lip if you want to. I don't know. It's up to you. Also, I want to show you one other thing. Is right under here, right under this dark layer. There's this white layer here. Now this is also editable um, as uh, protein, uh, I believe fatty acids, uh, some other vitamins, I think, and what else, what else? It's got something. Hmm. That's all I can think of off the top of my head at the moment. Um, but it's also, this part, you can also eat. And uh, it will. this is a layer between the outside bark, and you can see right here, between the outside layer of the bark and the wood. And uh, this, uh, you can eat also, and eat as much as you want, as much as you want it for us. It's a good uh, alternative food, and also it has protein. Oh. It's easy going in, tough getting out. All right, so uh, yeah, here's this stuff. Mm. Now that actually tastes uh, a little more like rhubarb. Yeah, it's kind of got like a stringy texture of rhubarb. And uh, tastes like rhubarb too, huh. which is not bad. And all right, well, let me think. All right, hang on. Let me tell you. I want to tell you about rocks. All right, now this rock came straight up out of the ground. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's uh, I guess that's it for this this video. Um, I hope you like it. Hope you learned something maybe. Um, there's nothing off the top of my head I can think of right now. Mm. If I could spot an ash tree, um, that has one of the key ingredients in aspirin. Um, I don't see one. Anyways, um, all right, that's uh, that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and see you soon.